Welcome to Monument Mayhem. Every day I'm traveling to a new monument in Rust for 25 days straight. You're going to see a new monument and a new video from me on this channel every day until I'm done with every single one. Oh, there's my ride. Gotta go. D21. Let's go. Missile Silo. Yet another high tier monument with numerous benefits. If you're looking for tech trash, SMG bodies, any of the high tier components, look no further because Missile Silo is the place to be. But nobody said it was easy. I think this may be the most difficult NPC battle Rust has to offer. The scientists at Missile Silo are heavy, they come in droves, and they are purposely built with shotguns in spots where you don't want them to have shotguns. Like, for example, coming out of a small elevator and having no way of getting out. The radiation is intense. You will want 26 rats to head into Missile Silo and enough meds and ammo to heal a small city. Don't let the not scary scientists above lull you into a false sense of security. Once you're in, there's no going back until you're done. There are about 10 crates scattered in the area above the silo and four scientists. If you have the time, or if you think you could take a group that's coming to counter, it is worth looting if you need it. The only mechanism you need to get into Missile Silo, and part of what makes it so attractive, is a blue card. No fuse, no other cards, just a swipe of the blue card and you have access to a ton of loot and a red card of your own. Okay, let's get into it. Swipe your blue card on the building next to the large radio tower, hit the button, and jump into the silo. To be safe and to make sure you're not being followed in, I would wait until it's fully closed to head down. I would also bring a flashlight if you have the ability to do so. Once you're in, it's a looting and killing bonanza. The scientists are tough. I found that the MP5 and the prototype are great guns against them for burst headshotting. Keep in mind, they will follow you and hunt you down and destroy you. A lot like military tunnels, take it slower than you usually would and make sure you're constantly topped off with health. Our first real hurdle comes in the form of this area. The bottleneck mixed with the amount of scientists and the fact that most are yielding shotguns makes it difficult. But hey, at least you can take a seat on the couch to rest when you're done. As you descend, it's rinse and repeat, but once you get down to the bottom, there's a grouping of scientists along with our red card, lead crate, and some diesel fuel. Be careful not to get too close to the actual warheads themselves, as you will die of radiation no matter what you're wearing. Hopefully you made it to the end, where you can check the cameras outside to see if anyone is camping you, and if they are, you'll most likely hear them, but be careful anyway. I feel like that's just good, solid Rust advice. Missile Silo is a doozy. It has to be up there in competition for the top monument. It has elite crates, a cheap entry point, an insane amount of loot. I'm going to put it slightly below military tunnels for now, but definitely S tier. I think once I'm done with all this, I'll review, make a few changes, but that feels good for now. Anyway. Day 21 in the bag. See you tomorrow. Peace.